As Christians were called to be in the world but not of the world, the trap that we're falling into in this debate is looking at the church through the eyes of the world rather than through his kingdom. In the secular world, we already have equality in law. People can enter civil partnerships or even gay marriage outside of the church, and that's their prerogative. However, the faith is inherently discriminatory. God is discriminatory. He sets conditions on us entering his heavenly kingdom. It is not a free-for-all. We must turn away from sin, repent, and follow Christ. And I want to specify, it is the sin that is the problem, not the sinner. Every single person is loved by God, and God forgives all of us of our depravity. But we have to turn away from our sins and turn toward him. And it seems the panel opposite me has forgotten to separate the sin from the sinner. One can denounce sin while still welcoming the sinner. So as I wrap up, my message to the proposing side is, do not lead us astray. Do not lead people astray. Do not be the wolves in sheep's clothing. Do not be the false teachers that the Bible warns us about. Remember your obligation to defend the faith. Stop teaching about diversity, inclusion and equality and get back to teaching about redemption and salvation. This is spiritual neglect. Help people by telling them the truth. Be kind to people by supporting them through those struggles and reminding them that Christ suffers with them. And be compassionate by leading them to Christ when the world tries to lead them away from him. The church is imploding and the faithful masses have stopped turning up on Sundays and we are seeing the most rapid decline of Christianity in this country that we may have ever seen. Do not accelerate it with heresy. You do not have the authority to bless sin. When I hear the Bishop of London on record saying these new prayers will mean priests can bless same-sex relationships, some of which may be sexual in nature, I hear the devil at work. Amen. Bishops are promoting the idea of sacramental sodomy. Let them be anathema. Repent. Right. And to the rest of you, I have no doubt that some of you will consider me a bigot or a transphobe or a homophobe, but I am neither of those things, none of those things. I am simply a follower of Christ, a Christian. And we are naturally countercultural. And if so-called liberals were truly diverse and tolerant, they would embrace us just as they embrace everyone else. And the, not right now, I'm just wrapping up. And the point has been made, but the growing Christophobic attitude around this public debate and the ugly level of, of hypocrisy is that we really see people hold Muslims and people of other faiths to the same expectations that they hold Christians to. Who is calling, except my good friend here, for Islam to embrace gay marriage? Who is calling for the Quran to be updated to modern societal norms? It is the same, mind your language, it is the same patronizing attitude of people of other, that treat other faiths patronize other faiths while being intolerant towards Christians at the same time. It's a shame, but in the words of St. Athanasius of Alexandria, if the world is against the truth, then I am against the world. Thank you very much.